heading out to dinner now. I'm running you late, so catch you later. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. And yes, I sound a little bit different, my voice is like gone. I don't know if I'm getting sick or what, but I just took some medicine, so hopefully my voice will come back. This video is just me vlogging this week because it's my final week of uni ever. That's if and hopefully if I pass all my subjects with all my exams and stuff, so hopefully I do. And that means it's my final week ever of uni, so that's why I want to like document this. I didn't get to start the vlog this morning because I was in a hurry to get to uni, like what's new we're like i don't like vlog a lot like at uni but like i'll be vlogging my week and you'll see me sort of like at uni kind of as you would have seen in the clips before yeah it's just been really hectic these last like three weeks and this week that's why i haven't been able to upload like in the past two weeks which when you guys see this video hopefully one or my two videos that i've have pre-filmed at the moment will be uploaded hopefully but yeah so i'll bring you guys along this week it's my final week of university as i just said and i'm supposed to be graduating in december so i'm so freaking excited about that and i'm also going to be going to my first ever pr event this friday so i might vlog a bit of that as well and yeah i just <laughs> I have a presentation tomorrow, you guys, and I sound like this. So hopefully I get better. Oh, it's just been really stressful. Two weeks ago, I had two assignments due in the one week. Last week, I had four assignments due. This week, I have two assignments due. So it's been crazy. Um, I can't wait for uni to be done for the year. I can't wait for summer. And I can't wait to graduate. So, yeah. But you guys, do I look a little bit different or something to you guys? So, not the Friday that just passed. Today's Tuesday, by the way. Tuesday, the 23rd of October. So, like 10 days ago or so, um, I went to orthodontist to get a new wire. So, I got a new thicker wire on the bottom teeth. But I still have the original wire on my top teeth because I got a clear elastic on my two front teeth. I did post a Snapchat about it when, like, the day after I got it down or something like that. So, if you guys have me a Snapchat, you would already know about this. Or if you follow me on Twitter, you would know as well. But I got a clear elastic on my two front teeth to close the gap and bring the two teeth together. And you guys, look at my teeth. My gap. Is literally almost gone it's so crazy but um if you see like the before and after shots of my teeth it'll be like crazy but even like from my last video to this video you'll be able to like notice the difference but i can't believe how fast my teeth are moving it's crazy but yeah i got um i received my kylie order today from her halloween collection i'm just going to show you guys i didn't get the entire collection because i knew i wouldn't like use it all and i don't want to just spend my money on something that i don't need or i'm not going to use so I just thought I'd get the two things I really, really wanted. And um, <coughs> and I also I want to like save for her Christmas collection because Christmas is my favorite time of year and I love her Christmas collection. So I want to make sure I'm going to be able to afford the entire bundle come Christmas time. So yeah. So here is the box and every order came with one of these, which is really cool. And of course, I got the card in there, which I love. And oh my god, I am obsessed with this packaging. This is so freaking cool. It's the Bite Me lipstick. It's like a red shade. And then I just got an ordinary black eyeliner because I needed a new one. And then I got the eyeshadow palette as well, which I'm so freaking excited about. So I'm just going to open this up so I can show you guys. You guys, this is so freaking dope. I love this matte black packaging it's so freaking cool i'm like obsessed so let's open her up oh my god i'm so excited for these look at that middle shade though like can we just take a moment to just focus hello i'm so excited to use this palette and then can i just say with this packaging i'm obsessed with this skull packaging like oh my god this is so dope i love skulls if you didn't know that about me already and yeah this is cool as well and let's just open this up as well. And here is the red lipstick shade. It just looks like a deep red shade. I did just post a photo like a couple weeks ago of 
all her red shades swatched on my arm to compare them all and literally that the day I posted that was the day she announced this lip kit and I was like oh my god I just missed out to adding this one on there as well but if you guys want comparison with this and like the closest red shade which I think would be bougie let me know and I can do one in a vlog or my snapchat or something so yeah but anyway that's gonna be it from me for now because my voice you can hear it, it's like gone and i need to work on my assignments that i have due this week finish up for my presentation tomorrow and try and get done my group assignment that is due on sunday because i won't be able to do it after tomorrow because i'm so busy for the rest of the week because on sunday it's actually my sister's birthday as well so yeah i have to get it done by end of day tomorrow otherwise i'm screwed so yeah, I will catch up with you guys when I can next. Love you guys and give this video a thumbs up as well if you like this video and want more vlogs, let me know. Hello you guys, it is now a Wednesday. It's currently almost at nine o'clock so i'm rushing out the door to get to uni i'm actually wearing makeup today because i need to get a new pick for the gram because i haven't been on my grind lately with that because as i said yesterday i have been so busy and my voice is coming back a bit so that's great and um yeah i have to go to uni today it's my last day ever of uni i just have one class today and my presentation is today so yeah, I'm excited to be finishing uni. It's so weird. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do after uni because I'm so used to, you know, primary school, then high school, and now uni. And I'm not gonna have any school to like go to. It's gonna be so crazy. But yeah, um, I will catch up with you guys. Hello you guys, it is now the next day, it is Thursday the 25th of October, 8.40am and I'm um, sorry I didn't, oh my god my brows look crazy as if I go on camera looking like this seriously, I always just look like a mess, I don't mind my morning face okay, yeah, sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday, it was so hectic, I had my last day of uni as I told you guys and then I actually went to the shops straight after that to get some things done and actually we bought something which i'll show you guys but yeah i cannot believe that i'm done with uni classes i still have an assignment that's due on sunday and i really need to work on that because it's a pretty hard one and then i have exams as well so i'm not technically like done with uni i'm just done with my classes and then i should be graduating in december if i pass all my exams and everything so you know fingers crossed hopefully I do get to pass all my exams and everything but the presentation I did yesterday we got 91% so I got a freaking A I'm so freaking happy about it my voice is sort of like coming back but I'm actually like sick now because I actually have a <coughs> cough but right now I'm waiting for some Post Malone concert tickets to come out because it's coming on tour in Australia next year and I want to go I haven't been to a concert all year this year and I went to so many last year and I missed them so much concerts are like my outlet like I don't go clubbing or partying or anything like that I like to go to concerts but I am going to be going to work later and then yeah I'll probably just catch up with you guys in a little bit because there's not much else to say at the moment I feel like there is but I can't remember I'm really tired right now I'm so tired but yeah I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later Okay, so just a little quick update. I'm in a hurry to go to work as always because I always run late for everything. But yeah, I'm off to work now and I'll see you guys later. <coughs> <coughs> okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, I know it's like so much later, but oh, it's been so busy. I'm speaking a bit quiet right now because people are sleeping. But yeah, it's like almost midnight right now. I've just picked out my outfit for tomorrow. And I'm about to get all my makeup ready and everything as well. And after work, I just came home, had dinner. Then I was working on my assignment, had a shower. And I've got my first ever like event tomorrow. So hopefully I'll bring you guys along if I don't get too nervous of vlogging in front of other people. But um, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow when I can actually speak at a normal tone. So...
favorite lipstick ever the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Liquid Lipstick from the uh, Vacation Collection uh, last year in shade Naked. The best. Gotta clean up some smudge and scar underneath my eyes. Alright, you guys, so I am now ready and I'm about to head out, so I'll catch you guys later. Okay, hey guys, um, I'm sorry for the lack of vlogging and I haven't vlogged since yesterday. <coughs> I'm so tired. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday and I didn't vlog when I got back. We didn't get back till pretty late yesterday and I've um, just been so tired and exhausted. So yeah, I'm just going to vlog a bit now, tell you guys a bit about my day yesterday and show you guys what I got. And also sorry about the mess in the back and my pillows in the back. Like my life is a mess right now. My room is an absolute pigsty and I cannot wait until I'm done with this final assignment. So then I can clean up my room because it's crazy and I can't even deal. Like you can barely even walk in my room. It's disgusting. So yeah, I headed out to one of the Supray stores in Chadston, which is one of the biggest shopping centers in Melbourne. And I think it actually is the biggest shopping center in Melbourne. But yeah, I went there and we did a bit of shopping and I got a couple of things which I will actually show you guys right now because why not um, while we're talking about it. So the first thing I got, I actually saw one of the other stores but they were sold, in, sold out in my size. And they actually had one at the store so I was really excited about it. If you guys know me, you know I love denim, especially distressed denim. But most of my jackets are like distressed denim jacket and I didn't have one that like wasn't distressed and I've always wanted like a really like oversized sort of one and I've got this one here and it's just like a really slouchy oversized denim jacket it doesn't have any distressing on it I love this and I also want to get one just like this but distressed so then I have like two options because I don't have like a distressed oversized denim jacket but I really like this because it's not too thick and it's going to be like perfect for summer like it's so nice and like it's not thin but it's not like thick it's just like a really good quality that's what i love about supre like the prices are so affordable and the quality is really good like i've had things that have lasted me years from there and i know this is going to last me a really long time as well so yeah i picked this up i'm obsessed with it and i also got something else these I'm obsessed with. They remind me of the IMG Harper shorts. But if you guys already know, I've mentioned this like in so many of my videos and probably in like every single one of my hauls, is that IMG sizing is pretty generous. So it's a bit too big for me. More so their bottoms. Like I can get away with their tops and like jackets easily. But with their bottoms, because I've got such a petite figure, I'm short, I've got skinny legs and a small waist. I find it really hard to find bottoms that fit me really well. And Supre always always comes in clutch in this department so i got these shorts they remind me of the iron gear harper shorts they just don't have that like a buckle belt but like you can always add your own belt and yeah i love 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 these i tried them on they are a little bit loose on the thighs but um it's kind of the style of them anyway it's not like too much yeah so i got these shorts and i'm obsessed with them they're gonna be so good for summer i already know i'm gonna wear them so much and this is the back and i love the elastic at the um top there and i will be doing a haul very soon because i've been buying so many things recently and there's actually like a belt i got that would look so good with these and i'll show you guys in my haul coming up but yeah i love 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 these i love the pockets like they're like a cargo short and then i just got this is just a little extra something like 
I just got this um a packet of tissues because they've actually got this foundation of where they fund and help to support to empower girls you know just girl power it just says on the back here we believe in the power of girls funding programs that educate support and empower girls our dream is to foster a world where all girls can achieve their dreams where globally this generation and future generations of girls have access to all they need to fulfill their potential. I think it's a great foundation that they stand for and also like you said they taught us a bit more about it and it was really great to hear more about the foundation and what it stands for. I feel like I learned a lot about it as well. So yeah yesterday we just got to meet some of the people behind the brand which I'm so thankful that they invited me to meet them and like get a little tour of their head office and you know go on a little shopping spree with them in their store because surprise has been a brand that i have loved since i was in year 11 uh year 8 i've actually been loving the brand since i was in like grade 4 grade 5 but obviously when i was that young i wasn't able to fit into their clothes so i started wearing them when i was in year 8 when i was younger like and my sister would wear their clothes i'd get so jealous of her because I would always want to wear the clothes but I couldn't fit into them because I was too little um but yeah and then as soon as I started fitting into their clothes I've been buying from them ever since like their quality is amazing especially for their price point and their sizing is great they go from size 4 I think they go up to a size 16 if I'm not mistaken and you guys know I always mention them in every single one of my hauls I genuinely love their brand and I wouldn't work with a brand that I don't genuinely like. Getting to meet the people behind the brand. They were so nice and they showed us around their head office. And we got to learn a bit about like the marketing aspect of the company as well. Which I really liked because um, I learned about that in university. So it was really cool to learn about that from a brand perspective. And it was really nice to meet the other girls part of this program as well. And to pray, like I am so thankful that they invited me yesterday. And have invited me to just be in this program in general like i'm so thankful for it and definitely check out their website they've got like so many different things like they've got some edgy pieces they've got some girly pieces i love them and honestly i'm about to put another order through with them right now because i'm obsessed with them and you guys would love them too and anyway sorry that's a bit of a long clip but i'm actually going to show you guys what i got from universal the other day because i don't think i ended up showing you guys but they came up with these like guest t-shirts they're actually like men's sizing but they're obviously like unisex no one can wear them um but i just got this like huge uh guest striped top i'm obsessed with this like guest vibe i'll probably wear it like cuff that's why it's like that because um i tried it on and it probably like sits me better because i am petite and as you can see it's like so big back and wear this as like a t-shirt dress and i actually tried it on like it tucked into my mom jeans i was wearing that day and it looked really really good and i was thinking even like wearing like a berry lip to match with this shirt would be so nice in this in the summer and i'm just freaking obsessed with it like even like this a denim jacket i just got from Supre. like having it slouched on top will be cute because you know it ties in with the darker blue as well so oh my god i almost forgot to tell you guys something else i got and i'm so freaking excited about and i know that you guys will be really excited about as well so let me just go grab it and i'll show you in a sec so you guys have been asking me for so long to do a makeup tutorial with this eyeshadow palette at first it didn't really intrigue me because i was like i know i'm not gonna wear it a lot it's not really my colors but then i just like grew on to it so hard and i'm obsessed with it i haven't used it yet but i'm obsessed with the palette and so many of you guys, as I said, have been asking me to do a tutorial with you. So I finally caved and ordered this palette. And it is the Anastasia Novena eyeshadow palette. And you guys know I'm obsessed with Anastasia Beverly Hills. One of my favorite brands ever, especially with eyeshadows. Like the formulas are amazing. A lot of people have mixed opinions on the Subculture palette. But that's honestly my favorite Anastasia palette. And one of my actual all-time favorite palettes as well. Like I'm obsessed with that palette. These are the shades on the inside. And I'm just so obsessed. I feel like that there are so many looks I can create with this. And when I actually first saw it, the first thing that I thought was like, I don't know what kind of looks I can create. But then I saw so many people creating so many cool creative looks. And I've just gotten so inspired. Um, It's Saturday now. And I probably won't be vlogging for the rest of the weekend. It's actually my sister's birthday tomorrow. I have to finish off my assignment for my group assignment that is due tomorrow. But I should have it done by today. And hopefully I do get done by today because I'm like stressed out and I have work tomorrow. I'm exhausted. But yeah, I'm sorry this vlog was a bit of a mess. I'm done with university. Well, 
not technically done with university i still have like one exam revision class next week but i'm done like with my classes and i have this assignment to do that is due today at due tomorrow and i just have exams in a couple weeks yeah that was my week again i'm sorry it's a bit of a mess i'm so exhausted right now you can probably tell by like my energy i cannot wait for uni to actually fully be over because I need to rest, I need to clean up everything, I need to get my life sorted, I need to get back onto my YouTube grind and Instagram grind and because I miss you guys so much but yeah I will just see you guys in my next video, I really hope you guys like this one, if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below if you are new to my channel and make sure you also follow me on all my socials to keep up to date with me. I still use Snapchat guys so add me on there if you still use it because that's probably the thing that's like easiest for me to update on because I just like post on there more casually than like Instagram you know. And also let me know in the comments down below if you guys want more vlogs. I'm thinking of doing like vlogmas this year but it will probably be more of like a weekly vlogs kind of thing because i do work but yeah if you guys want to see more vlogs also let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye